take some thrift shop jeans, add some DIY paints. Show you what tools I use. We're gonna make some pillows. Meanwhile, I'm gonna share a story about how I took a new pair of jeans when I was a kid and cut holes in them because This homegirl began life on this planet in Minnesota. And so did these jeans, apparently. But shortly after this picture, I moved to Big Sky Country. Here I'm going to do some fancy measuring. Notice the use, or the lack thereof, a tape measure. Have you ever cut a pair of jeans and made shorts out of them? So since these jeans reminded me of my childhood, I'm gonna tell you a story of when I was a kid. So living in big sky country, I wore jeans, cowboy boots, and a blue hoodie sweatshirt all the time. I lived outside pretty much. And coming with that, living on a ranch, I'm probably going to wear my jeans out. And I'm going to wear those same jeans everywhere. I'm going to wear them outside to ride my bike, and I'm going to wear them when I go to school. Mother was tired of my raggedy jeans all the time. And for back to school, she bought me jeans with reinforced patches on the knees that apparently wouldn't wear out and get holes in them as fast. But they were so stiff and uncomfortable. They were not like my regular jeans. And I didn't like wearing them. And we didn't have a lot of money, so I just kept wearing the same jeans I'd been wearing all along. Now this is a time when holes in your jeans was not a trend. Holes in your jeans meant you was the poor kids. But I didn't care. I was comfy. And I was going to wear my jeans with the holes in them, with my cowboy boots, and with my blue hoodie. For Christmas every year, our music teacher would have the whole school of 35 kids in the grade from kindergarten to sixth grade, all 35 kids would put on a school play. And this particular year was going to be Peter Pan. Well, I was a shy, quiet little girl. And I definitely was not going to be one of the lead speaking roles. So, with what few students she had to work with, the teacher cast me for one of the lost boys. Cool. I get to live in Never Never Land. I won't grow up, I won't 
So the music teacher had us watch Peter Pan and we all got ideas for costumes and it was up to us you know we were gonna make our own costumes and that's cool I was a creative kid how old was I mm, I'm gonna guess this was probably third or fourth grade so when the teacher asked us to make our own costumes Guess what pair of jeans I grabbed? <laughs> and I cut them up because I wasn't going to wear those stiff reinforced knee patch jeans anyhow. And let me tell you what, I got in trouble. But after the Christmas play performance of Peter Pan and I as one of the lost boys in Neverland wearing my own fashion statement and my own cut up reinforced knee patched jeans with my purposely placed cut marks and holes and tatters I could finally be rid of those jeans once and for all. I got in trouble. But I didn't have to wear them after that.